Hello, my name is Lisa Michelle. I like creating content to help new and aspiring entrepreneurs start their very first online business. So in this video, I want to do a full tutorial of BookBolt. So this video may be a little bit lengthy, but I've mentioned it in other videos, but I always felt like I was kind of rushing through it. So I'm going to just do a whole video where I just cover everything on the, on the whole site. So I hope this is helpful and I'm going to go ahead and get started. As you can see on this first page, uh, BookBolt does offer you a bunch of different tutorial videos that are um, hosted on YouTube. So if you do decide to get the software or if you already have this uh, program or this website as a subscription and you get lost or you just need help with something else, you can always check on their tutorials page, which I think is very helpful. All right, so we're gonna start with this first feature here under products. And under products, this allows you to search Amazon KDP just to get an idea of the types of books that are out there. So if you're looking to make a new book or you just want to get an idea of what niche you may want to go into, you can go to products and go into category and select the category that you want to create your book in. Okay. So let's say you wanted to just do a, a plain uh, composition notebook and you want to do one for maybe dog lovers. So you just want to search for dog and then see what comes up. And this actually gives you a real time snapshot of what's actually selling or what's actually sold on the platform. So here it'll give you 100 of the top selling um, KDP journals on uh, Amazon right now. And you can see this one comes up. Um, and just to give you a breakdown, it gives you the ASIN, which is the number that they assign you when you create a new book. Each one is unique. It gives you the price for that book, the reviews, the ratings, the BSR, which is the bestseller rank, and the lower the number, the better. So if you have a book that's selling as number one on Amazon, that means that's the number one seller on Amazon. So you want this number to be as low as possible. And with this uh, bestseller rank, they're estimating that this book sells about 235 copies every month, and it was published on January 1st, 2018. So you can just scroll down, you can get an idea. Um, you can see that these are selling well. And let's say you wanted to make a, a notebook for dog lovers, but you're not really good at creating graphics. You can see these are very simple covers, right? It's just text-based covers. So if you're interested in doing something like this, you know, looking for that type of book in BookBolt lets you see what types of covers are, are successful. And then here gives you the keyword count and these are just all of the keywords that are used in this top 100 list. And these are the ones that are used most common, uh, most, most often. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a number next to the letter, I mean, I mean next to the word or the keyword. So dog is used 116 times. So that keyword has been used for all of these books and, you know, maybe twice for some of them. All right, so that's products. And again, if you want to do a dog uh, planner, you know, dog, um, like a niche planner, I mean, or a planner for the dog niche, you just select planner and then search. And then it will give you items similar to this, but just for um, planners where the keyword dog is used. Okay. So down here for seller. Now, if you know the name of a seller, and let's say um, you see one of these books here and you're like, wow, this planner here is awesome. I want to know what other products they sell. You can just copy the author's name, go to seller, and then paste it in here and then do a search. And you can see all of the planners or all the books actually they published under that author's name. So, you know, doing this can help you kind of get an idea of you know, if they had like a collection or if they had different editions and you want to set up your books the same way, but you don't know how, um, you can look and see how they did it, or you can look and see what, you know, what other covers they've done besides, you know, the one you found initially, whatever it is you need, you can just put in the seller's um, name here and you can look and see their other books. Sometimes people are just curious to see how their other books, 
have done. So they'll put that in just to get an idea if, you know, maybe all their books are bestsellers or maybe just the most recent one. And you can see this BSR is 505,000, which is, you know, it's not bad. Um, but the first books they published are like 3.7 million. So you can kind of compare and contrast to see why one book may be doing better than the other and then apply it to your own covers or your own interiors. All right, so that's seller. Now under cloud, this feature is similar to the products um, feature, um, but this one allows you to drill down a little bit more. So you can look for either the top 10, 200, I'm sorry, top 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 bestsellers. You can also drill down by category. You can also um, let BookBolt know, you know, okay, I just want to find books that have no more than a bestseller rank of you know, 341,000 or whatever, and the price range. So if you want to find books that are, you know, that cost between $2 and $7, then you can just move this around and just kind of narrow down your search. Um, you can put keywords in here, but um, I, I usually just leave that blank so that I can really just get a broad view of what's out there. Okay, and so just with this search, the top 100 notebooks, um, right now within this BSR range and this price range are here. All right. And some of them, I mean, this is a really nice cover. They're all nice covers, but these are a little bit easier to um, design. So it just gives you an idea of what's actually out there. Um, and actually this one is interesting. I don't want to get too off track. Um, Maybe I'll show you in a, under a different feature, this one right here. And I'm just going to copy the name now so I can go back to it so I can show you something with that book. All right, so that's cloud. So you can just drill down based on this criteria. Book Scout. Okay, so if you have the ASIN number, and again, let me get the ASIN number for this one book instead of the author's name. This is the ASIN number here. And if you go under Book Scout, you have to search by that. All right. So we get this book here. All right. Um, so it tells you the description. Well, actually, they have a short description, but it will give you the whole description. So they really didn't even really create one. This is a whole title. If you click on this, it will take you to Amazon to the actual book. And these are the keywords that they may have used. So they're the keywords that. Um, BookBolt and KDP are, you know, kind of assuming are relevant to this book. They may not have used these actual keywords, but these are suggestions. So if you are creating a similar type book or a password reminder, notebook, logbook, something like that, password tracker book, you could, you know, look through here for keywords that may make sense and then maybe apply them to your um, keyword list. This is a search volume by per month. And then this is the number of times that this would appear, you know, under that whole search, not just for this book, of course, but if you were searching on Amazon for this book, for this type of book, um, a log book, quote unquote, would come up 78,000 times. So there are a lot of log books out there. All right. So that's just looking by ASIN. Now we have favorites. Um, you can set this up so that, you know, if you're scrolling through and you see a book that you like, um, okay, you see a book that you like and you want to favorite it, you could just favorite it and then put it under these categories. So if you want to have a category for recipe books, you could do that. So just while you're doing your research, if you come, come across books that you really like, or things you want to go back to later on, all you would do is just save it and then add it to one of these categories. So let me see if I'm able to do that. So this planner here, I could just favorite it. And then, I mean, it's a planner, so I wouldn't put it under one of these, but I could create a category for planners and then save it. All right. And then when you go to your favorites, you would see it there. Okay. So that's just handy if you're doing research and you want to be able to go back to see what books were helpful. All right, keywords. Um, here you can search for 
um, a keyword again, I could use dog and do a search. Um, and this will just give you an idea of the different keywords you could use if you were creating some type of product around the dog theme. All right, so you can put anything there. You could put coffee, if you wanna do something for coffee lovers or coffee drinkers. And if you just don't know what keywords to use, it gives you some suggestions along with the search volume. So on Amazon, um, per month, and you can click on here if you kind of um, just wanna sort it out. Um, per month, coffee, Pete's coffee is searched 476 times, 10 times on Google each month. Um, some of these, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't never use that, but still it's for some reason it's being searched 1240 times. Maybe that means something. I don't know, but this just gives you an idea of what, um, keywords you could possibly use. And then over here are the most frequently used, um, keywords here. And then it gives you some relevant products that will come up using these keywords. So you can put something in here that's more specific. If you think that'll be more helpful, but the keywords is just that to give you suggested keywords to use for your listing. All right. Now KDP categories. So if you've listed a book on Amazon KDP before, you'll know it's challenging sometimes to find categories that really fit with your book. So <laughs> this one, let's see if you put dog in, it gives you these categories so that this way, when you're doing your listing, you have some idea, you know, where you can put your books. And that's really helpful. Now, um, side note, when you're up, when you're listing a book on KDP initially, you have two categories that you can use. But if you send an email to KDP, you can request that they add your book to, I mean, I've had them add my books to up to seven or eight additional categories. So I'm not sure if 10 is the limit. Um, but you know, if you want to use all of these, you could just list it under this one and, you know, and if it applied this one, and then I would email KDP and say, Hey, you know, can you also add my book to these other, um, categories as well? And they'll do it. And it's usually about a 24 hour turnaround. And then you, your book is in more categories than just the initial, um, two. All right. So you may want to try that out. And KDP categories is a good way to help you find those additional categories without having to search through all of Amazon to find uh, the category that will be applicable to your book. All right, KDP Spy. Now KDP Spy is, as you can see, a Chrome extension. And what it is, this is the right icon. Okay, hold on one second. I just get this to KDP Spy. Yes, I know. Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot. All right. So for KDP Spy, I have to actually put in a uh, search. So let's just do coffee planner. Okay, and then if I click on start, it'll just give me a breakdown, a consolidated list of all the paid, um, all the products on this page that match my search for coffee planner. All right, so it may take a second, but it'll pull them all up. And I have competing, um, I have competing Chrome extensions on here. So this is Merch Titan. So I'm gonna turn that one off. Oh, self-publishing titans. I'm gonna turn that off, and then we'll try this again, and click on start. So this is what comes up under coffee planner. The planner stickers, coffee cup planner stickers, and this is just a, like an easier way of just seeing everything that comes up under that particular keyword. And instead of having to scroll down. And then you'll see this comes up, but this is not an Amazon KDP book. So you want to just look at what's being um, listed by people on the platform, on the KDP platform. So this is a good way of kind of filtering out those, um, those books. And you can see the price, the BSR. 
um, the estimated sales per month, estimated revenue per month, and the date that it was published. So this is very helpful as well. Keywords here will give you the keywords that were used for those listings. And you can see on Amazon what the search volume is. And for some of these, you can see what the search volume is on Google. So you know if people are searching for it on Amazon and Google, that's a good sign. And I would definitely um, pick those keywords where you see on both platforms, okay? So that is uh, KDP Spy. So now if we go over here, there are a couple of the options that aren't over here. One of them is the Book Bolt Lister which is also another um, Chrome extension. All right, so let me just go ahead and open the lister. Okay. So for this, this actually helps you list your books on KDP. So if you uplist, uploading the same type of book over and over again, this will definitely help you save time. So you can pick a hotkey or a shortcut key and let's see, I'm going to do command G, right? Alt, well, I'll do Alt, Alt G. And then this shortcut is just going to be for, let's say it was for uh, planners. If I'm doing a dog planner. The title can just be um, anything, right? My dog planner, best. Best planner for dog lovers. Um, put the name that you publish under, not you know, not necessarily your name, but whatever you publish under. Um, definitely not doing a whole description. That's going to show you how to do it. Um, keywords. Um, uh, let's see. Can I, I'm not. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't be using these. Um, keywords but I just want to show you how they populate on the platform breeds and then what else can we put under there um, canines all right let's say um, our trim is six by nine and it's a glossy finish for our categories let's say we just pick under non-fiction We'll do pets, we'll do dogs for general, and we'll do breeds, all right? And then we'll click on done. Now, once you put everything in here, you definitely wanna make sure that you click here so that it's active, all right? So now we're good to go. And if you wanna do another profile for a different type of book, you can just definitely add, you can add more profiles. So once you get to KDP, and let's say we're doing a paperback book. Click on paperback. Um, okay, hold on one minute. Then all you have to do is do Alt G. Well, that's my shortcut was Alt G. And then you see everything that I put in the lister will populate here. So this way you don't have to keep typing everything over and over again if you're doing the same type of books, all right? So that's very helpful. And that is the, um, the KDP book lister, Chrome extension. And you get access to that once you are able to, you know, log in with your BookBolt credentials, okay? All right, so now we have the, I'll skip over BookBolt Designer. We'll get to that in a minute. The Bolt Mask con, uh, Cover Converter. So let's say we were doing several journals and we wanted to upload um, all the covers, I guess, at one time. All right, so we have 120 pages. So here, let's pretend like we're just creating a cover, a book cover. For the background, we can pick whatever color we want. And let's see. Um, I don't know. We'll pick. We'll pick this, I guess. And now you just upload images. Click on upload images and I downloaded, let's see, some dogs. So we'll do that. One is going to be that dog. And you'll see, you click on start, and it's working. 
you can upload another dog and click on start and it's working now we can do one that's I don't know seven by ten it's a hundred pages and has this background and we'll upload another dog and click on start all right so now that we have all three well, one is taking longer than the others it's working working you'll see that you'll have a PDF that you can immediately go ahead and upload to KDP so let's say you have your interior ready but you're just doing the same basic interior with different covers then all you have to do is just upload them all uh, at one time well not at one time but you can create them all and upload them to your computer at one time and then all you have to do is, is upload it to KDP for each book all right so that's that's one you can see us on this side because that would be the front cover uh, let's see the second one you'll see that dog and then the third one so I think when I change the color it changed it for all three so you may have to do it if you want to do more than one background color you would do all the blue ones and then do all the pink ones what have you okay but that saves a lot of time and that is the book bolt um, bolt mass cover converter all right so now we're going to move on to designing because under here we, we've been doing all this under the research tab so if we go to create you'll see that we can either use a puzzle whiz or we can go to the book bolt designer okay so this gives us a chance to either design a cover or an interior so let's start with an interior we'll do the trim size we'll do six by nine and we'll make it 100 pages we'll do bleed just to make sure that if we add other elements nothing gets cut off um, of the ends when they're creating the book and you'll see here since we said we want it bleed this peach border is the bleed so we don't want to go outside of that line or our design may get cut off so we don't want that so you can create whatever interior you like um, let's see just to demonstrate how this works I will let's see create um, let's say a prayer prayer journal page all right now you click on it and this arrow allows you to resize it make it smaller you can center it click over here you can change the color of the font to whatever you like all right um let's see so let's do hmm I'm trying to think of what color we should do let's do like a maybe a dark purple okay and we'll save the color I don't know what happened to my color okay okay there we go all right so we have that now we can change the color of the page but I mean it's a page so I wouldn't change the color but if you go to product you could change the color if you wanted to by using these and you could also you know scroll down around here and change it to whatever color you can think of all right we're going to just leave it white for text if you want to do uh, curved text you could you could do this or you can use one of the fonts that is provided for you or you can upload more fonts or you can load more fonts so if you click on load more um, you get all these other options so you're not limited to you know just the ones that they give you you can just simply scroll over here see which one you like and all you have to do is click on the plus button and it's here all right so if I wanted to change that um, go up here and I will go down to was it yesteryear and it's that easy all right so you're not limited to just these fonts all right so I'm actually going to change this back to black and we don't want it to be transparent 
Oh, and also when you have the text here, if you wanted to, you could change it. So you're adding um, a stroke or an outline. Oops, we don't want that. And you could just make it like, you know, as thin or as, you know, as wide as you want. So that's also another option to add, um, you know, stroke color to it. Uh, let's see. Um, we have over here images. So if you wanted to upload an image, let's say we wanted to add the uh, one of those dogs. For whatever reason, you may want to add a dog to your prayer journal. You can do that. All right. And we'll go over this again once we get to the uh, cover design. But you can upload, you know, images if you want. And if this is a PNG image that you're putting up here with a uh, transparent background, then you can put it here and you know, you won't see a background, which is nice. So once you have an image, if you did want to put something, let's say you had a, a cross or something you want to put there, you can go over here and you can either, you know, let's say you have this here, you can either create a pattern with the image, um, which would be grid repeat, which is the one that I just selected. Okay. All right. Interesting. Or, all right. We don't want that many. Undo it. Select that. Uh, maybe you'd want to arrange the layers so that the dog is behind the text. You can also do that. See, it just went behind or in front. You can also change it. So if you wanted to center it on some other, some other area, you can use this to change the position of your image. And then for this one, you can either rotate it with that, or you can kind of skew it either way, this, or you can flip it either horizontally or, or vertically. Okay. So those are your options with the images. And you can also add shapes. So we're going to use the shapes to create um, lines for our prayer journal and I mean if you're doing a journal you can also add um, you know different sections for Bible verses uh, you know uh, notes prayer requests whatever you want to put on there you can you can definitely do we're just gonna make this simple so we've got one line here and if you see these little boxes here this allows you to duplicate so just make sure you're grabbing the right one and all you have to do is just put it underneath the one that you have. And you can just, if you want to just do a basic um, line journal, you could do that. All right. And just make sure you're grabbing the right line. And you just keep copying down the page. All right. Very, very, very simple. Now, I don't have auto snapping on, which is why I wasn't getting that line. So if you have auto snapping on here, it'll tell you when you are centered with that line. And I definitely need that because I can't eyeball this. All right. So now we've got that. And then, I don't know, let's say on this page, <laughs> this dog looks so weird here. All right. Um. On this page, let's say we wanted to just have uh, notes. We can we can do that over here. So I could just add more lines over here, but uh, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. I uh, will just add, let's see. Hmm. You know, I've never actually tried to add a box. Let me see how that'll work. If I added a box over here that in theory, someone could use to write notes. And let me see. Um, no, let's see. Bear with me. 
So I'm going to do it so you can see. Hmm. Okay. What color would I do that? We can do it black. Make it gray. Um, patterns. No. Well, actually, yeah, I, I could do that. I can do that. Make it black. Yeah, and just leave it like a light gray. Okay. So, of course, you can play around with it. You can use any of these items over here. So, give you some free elements that you can use if you wanted to. Uh, let's see. So, this butterfly, for example, you can change the color of it. Make whatever color you like. Um, make whatever color you like. And then you can still use, you know, the same features over here. So, if you want to do a pattern with butterflies, you can. If you want to arrange it so this is behind here, like in the background, you could do that. And you could position it. You can also rotate it, flip it, move it around. Uh, oops. <laughs> Resize it. That's the thing. You have to make sure you're actually grabbing the right element on this. Otherwise, you'll move the wrong thing. So you can resize it. So that's nice. You can play around with, with the ones over here. This is nice if you want to make a like a cover page um, that says, you know, this journal belongs to kind of thing. You can put that on the front page and put a line. They can put their first name there. And let's say drawing. Okay, so you can draw on this, but I would not. So yeah, you can draw. If you're good at freehand drawing, which I'm not. So <laughs> I won't be drawing freehand, but if that's something that you want to do, you can. Knock yourself out. What else do we have? Layers. Um, so I showed you that before. If you wanted to just re, you know, rearrange how how your um you know where your images are or where your text is, you can definitely change it so something's in the background. Hold on a second, let me delete this or in the foreground, however you want to do that. And then effects. So if you had, all right, so if you had an image here that you wanted to distress, you could add that with this. So if you want to make you know, your text look aged or your image look aged, you could do that. And it just adds a little bit of distressed or distressed look there. And it's a lot of different um, patterns here. Just It just depends on how you want it to look. All right. We don't need a distressed look on a prayer journal. So I'm just going to undo it. And then here is a mask. So if we had... All right. So let's just say if we have this dog. And you put it on top. I think I have to put it on top. Of the text. Wait, is it on top of the text? So, okay, so you click on mask. I have to upload the mask? That's weird. So I use it on my other, on my PC, and I don't need to upload anything else. But if this feature works on your PC, because I'm on a Mac right now, you will put this behind there, and you will select mask, and the word that you have here, the text that you have here, would actually be filled with the colors from this image. So the dog, the colors from this dog, would actually fill in the font here. Instead of it being gray, it would be brown and white and a little bit of black and red from the dog. So I'm not sure why it's not working on this on the, on the Mac, but that's what the mask feature is, okay? So once you're done, I'm just going to delete him. Once you're done, with your interior all you have to do is just click on download right here and it'll download the pdf and it'll be ready to go uh, ready to upload into uh, kdp all right
you can download it. Now, when we first got started, it asked how many pages we wanted. So if you said you wanted 100 pages, it will re repeat these two pages, alter it will alternate. So pages one, two, three, four, five, six, and it'll keep going for 100 pages, okay? So that's how you do the interior uh, design. Now, um, what I want to show you is this, however. And this is, I've been dying to get to this, <laughs> mostly. So BookBall offers you um, a lot of different templates. All right, so they're already done. So if you want to have a college rule notebook, you can just click on it, say whether or not you want bleed, you can just give the trim size if you want six by nine, eight and a half by 11, whatever size you want. Select that and then you put the page count. Okay. And then when you click on download, you'll have your, I do 100 pages, I think. You have your 100 page uh, college ruled notebook. It's just that easy. So you wouldn't have to go through all that I just showed you, you know, trying to do it by hand. You can just simply select the one that's already there. All right, and then I did another video where I showed you how to actually customize um, one of these using I Love PDF. So I will do it again briefly. So we have I Love PDF already open. So if you go to I Love PDF, if you've never seen it before, go to All PDF Tools and go to Edit PDF. Um, you can drag your file here and then it'll populate your you know your um your journal or whatever you have here and then if you wanted to add text you can if you wanted to add an image you can so if you wanted to put a dog here so the you know dog themed notebook whatever you can do that and if it's a png again you won't see the background but this is a nice way to customize a very basic template so that you can market it to a certain niche. So if it were for dogs, you could put, you know, a dog here, you could put, you know, bones around it. So really customize it so that it's attractive to whatever niche you're selling to. So that's a very simple way to customize, um, you know, one of the templates that are here. There's music sheets, bill trackers, um, to-do lists, home organizer page. There are a lot of different pages here. And you can download whichever one you want and then feel free to edit it on some other program. You can even upload it to Canva and use their elements um, you know, to really make it your own. Uh, fishing logs, fitness calendar, comic book pages, habit trackers. Um, they really have a pretty good assortment of templates here. So if you don't wanna have to make your own from scratch, you really don't have to. You really don't have to. Okay. So I just wanted to show you, wanted to show you this as well. All right. Uh, what else is left? I think that might be, I think that might be it guys. Oh, one more thing. Interior Pro. So you know how we just uploaded our college ruled uh, notebook. What you can do is build your interior up to 240 pages using the interior generator pro so let's say you had pages that you downloaded from some other source you can upload the first page let's say you want the first page to be blank for whatever reason right you hit the plus sign and then page two let's say you want that to be a college ruled page and let's say for page three you wanted that to be uh let's see one of these um dot grid pages and then the other page you wanted it to be um i don't know uh online shopping tracker so yeah it's all over the place but i'm just trying to show you that you can build it based on individual pages so you don't have to have 100 pages of all college ruled or 100 pages of all dot grid you can use the templates that they have you can download it right customize it with i love pdf or canva or whatever else you want to use and then re-upload it and then you can alternate so you can create a book that's completely uh unique right you can have it whatever size you want 
and then just download it and then it'll put the pa the book together for you. So I hope that that is clear. That's not too confusing, but that really comes in handy because I've used that for you know, even other interiors that I created on other platforms and just kind of mixed it in with the ones that I got from BookBolt. So it was really handy. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, there's another option here. If you have a subscription to placeit.net, you can create mock-ups so that your journal, you know, looks very professional. It looks as though someone's holding it or maybe on a desk or a laptop or some electronic device. And um, so place it is just a way that you can mock up your book if you wanted to list it um, on some other platform or even use Canva's, I mean, or even use KDP's um, A plus content option. You can create nice mock-ups and then use those um, as a way to market your books on KDP. Okay, so I really hope that that is helpful. Now, if you are watching this in 2021, definitely make sure that you check out Book Bolt's Black Friday sale, which is going on between November 23rd and November 30th. And there is a great deal where you can get six months worth of uh, Book Bolt, including the Puzzle Whiz, which I didn't even go over, actually. Um, including the Puzzle Whiz. All right, hold on one second. The Puzzle Whiz includes, um, you know, to Sudoku, Nurokabi, a Nurokabe, I don't even know what these are, Crossword, Word Search, Hangman, Cryptogram, Word Scramble. You can create all these different types of puzzle books. So if you wanted to make an activity book for children or for adults, you can mix and match. You can just create one dedicated book for each puzzle. You can do whatever you want. And Puzzle Whiz is usually um, an additional uh, fee. But I believe that with their Black Friday sale, it'll be included. So definitely check out the link in the description box. If you want me to do a video on um, some of these other games or puzzles, I can. There is already a video for word search and I can link that um, here in case you want to see how to create a word search using Puzzle Whiz. But other than that, if you're interested, this is a great time to check it out because I'm not sure if they'll have another sale like this before Black Friday of next year. OK, so that's going to do it for me. Um, if you're interested in learning how to create a, a business for yourself, how to get started, how to grow your business, there is a link in the description box to my blog. There's other content there that can help you get started. And yeah, I hope that this is helpful and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.